What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to talk a little bit about the Canon R6 and video mode. Now I've made past videos about some of my complaints with the Canon R6 and its video modes. And to that, some of the people told me that I need to purchase a video camera, not a stills camera. And to me, that really doesn't make a lot of sense because one, Canon advertises this camera as a hybrid camera. And I mean, do you really understand what kind of video capabilities are built into the Canon R6? 10-bit footage, 4K, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second with dual pixel autofocus. All of these things are screaming video to me. Anyway, that's why I bought it. I actually use cameras for video much more than I do stills. And I love my Canon R6. Does it have some limitations? Of course it does. It overheats when I shoot in 4K, if I do over 30 minute clips. But the fact that I'm able to record 10 bit footage and have the flexibility of C-Log and post, the fact that I'm able to get dual pixel autofocus, and not only that, the dual pixel 2 autofocus that came with the Canon R6 and R5, now mixed with internal stabilization, Again, 4K, all of these things make it the ultimate hybrid camera. Think about it, I've got a little tiny handheld weather sealed camera that now has internal stabilization working with the stabilization of my lenses. Now I'm not saying you're gonna have a gimbal in your hands or anything, but as far as like getting cinematic little pan shots, that IBIS is everything. It makes me able to get handheld footage butter smooth, butter smooth. And again, mixed with the high quality 4K footage that it's able to shoot, I don't know what people are talking about when they say it's only for stills. It does great as well in stills. I love it for wildlife and macro photography, but for video, this thing is absolutely killer. Now, again, I do wish that it recorded in 4K unlimitedly. Of course I do. I knew going into it that I was gonna have a 30 minute limitation. You're able to get more than 30 minutes if you shoot in 4K 24 frames a second. It's more when you're shooting 4K 60 frames per second, that you're gonna hit those limitations right at the 30 minute mark. But even with the limitations that I knew about going into buying the camera, this is still a very, very capable video camera. Now again, guys, I understand how people come to different conclusions. People use equipment differently. Ultra professionals definitely wouldn't use the Canon R6 as a video camera because of its overheating limitations. You wouldn't want this camera to be overheating on a professional set and people waiting over an hour for your camera to be ready to record again. I understand that. For somebody like me, who's more of an amateur enthusiast who just runs a YouTube channel, it's more than anything that I really need. And I can get absolutely beautiful footage, create beautiful content for people. And it's absolutely the best video camera that I think I could have bought. And if I was gonna go into the market today and buy another camera, I'd probably buy a Canon R6, unless I could afford a Canon R5 or i5C. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope that this video helped you a little bit. If it did, go below, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video.